The purpose of this tutorial is to discuss the rank function in Excel and how it can be used to take a list of values and put them in rank order from, let's say, the highest value to the lowest. Now, the way that the rank function works is we enter it as a formula in a cell. I have a worksheet set up here where I have a grade book for my students in a particular class, and I've calculated what is the total points that they've earned in the class, and then calculated the percentage of possible points by taking each student's total points and dividing it by the possible points that were available in the class. I've used that to come up with a letter grade, but next I want to rank all of those so I can see which student has the highest grade, which one has the next highest, etc. So I'm going to click in my cell H2 here, and I'm going to type the command equal rank parenthesis. That is the rank function, which will take a list and rank it in order of the values in the specified list. Now I'm going to click here on my function switch. And that brings up the little dialog box, which asks me for the values I'm going to put in. Now, in this case, if the first thing it asks me is, what's the number that I want to rank? Now, keep that in mind. The rank can only work for numbered values. It doesn't work for alphabeticals. So in this case, I'm going to click on this student's percentage of possible points. Next, I'm going to click in the reference field. And this is asking me, what? value of fields do you want to rank this in in relation to? So I'm going to select all of the students' possible percentage of possible points, and I'm going to absolute that. Okay. And so when I say OK, it comes back and shows me that this first student, Joe, has the second highest grade in the class. And I expected that because down here, Mike has 92%. I'm now going to copy that function down and see it put my students in rank order. If I want to sort on that now, I simply go up to my Home tab and click on the Sort and Sort Smallest to Largest, so I put first in first place. And now my students are in rank order. I have them listed with their rank and their letter grade.